Hey friends, welcome back to another weekly energy video. This one's a little delayed, but you know, we had the holiday on Monday and well, I could have done it yesterday. I just didn't feel like it. You know, we, we really can be better about choosing our priorities. Don't get me wrong. I love doing this, but also I love my peace. And so I was really, yesterday I was really getting as much out of that as I possibly could, as I could. All right, this week, uh, the uh, September 5th through 11th, um, we're leading up to the full moon in Pisces. This is not the full moon in Pisces video, but that will be here. And once it's done. And this week, I believe we'll have a lot to do with our intuition. And do we know our voice of intuition from our voice of fear? I've got different kinds of cards, systems here going on. How was your Sag Moon weekend? Sag Moon was all about becoming open, um, feelings of generosity, feelings of big picture goals, philosophy. So we're going from philosophy to spirituality, basically from weekend to weekend. So, you know, there might be something about like, where is your faith? Not where is it, but like, what does your faith say about you? Like, what do you believe and how does it determine your faith? Protected by angels. It's a new setup, so you're gonna, it's going to take me a minute to maybe get used to this. View from above. Get the big picture, just like what we were saying. You're being encouraged to explore something for its largest scale. Grace and gratitude through gratitude, joy expands. It's like we're finally seeing something for the first time the way that it is. Um, getting distance from the ego in order to connect to spirituality. I feel like these are you know, whether you believe it or not, your angels, your guides or whatever are all wanting to push you in this direction or, or, or encourage you to go in this direction to get the bigger picture. About what? I don't know. That's for you to decide. I love this grace and gratitude card. It says, through gratitude, joy expands. So there's something here about being grateful for what you have. Um being grateful just for the environment, for nature, for the way that the physical world manifests. Um, gratitude is, or can be, the voice of intuition, or rather when things get quiet, it's when intuition can come in. And when we're quiet, and present, that's when we also experience gratitude. So I don't know if they're exactly linked for me, but that they often exist in the same state of being. When I could see things, when I'm out of the weeds and I see things, the bigger picture. Let's see what we got with the tarot. I'm using my original, original tarot deck. We're going back to the basics now. We have the Ace of Swords, the Star in Reverse, the Tower, the Chariot in Reverse, the World in Reverse, Dead Center, the Seven of Cups, Three of Swords in Reverse, Three of Cups in Reverse, and the Page of Wands in Reverse. Hmm. 
It's like you've, if we're starting with the Ace of Swords, these are all really powerful cards on the table. Like there's a lot of Major Arcana, the Star, the Tower, the Chariot, the World. <laughs> then we have the Ace of Swords and the Page of Wands. The Ace of Swords is sort of feeling to me like this past truth. This could be like something from the past that made you feel like you were in control that you know the sword is used for protection as well so i'm looking at this sword by the protected by angels as well it's a sword of protection so what are you protecting yourself from or what did you have to protect yourself from in order to get to where you are now what are you aware of that is in your purview so this does feel like a little bit of like a trauma response maybe there's some unlearning to do about what was um, keeping you stuck and stuck could just mean like you know not wanting to go in a particular direction because of um, it didn't really bring up good feelings for you or it just wasn't something that you believed in period it was a previous belief that just did not resonate with you. And now there's going to be some unlearning. Um, and it's coming from a place where there is some resistance, um, but it is all moving towards healing and um, sort of celebration. Even though those are showing up here, that the star and the three of cups and the world in the center in reverse is telling me that there's some either resistance to moving in this direction. But like it says, you're protected by angels. This is, this is um, a beneficial thing that is happening in some ways. So again, going back to the original um, idea for this week was um, fear versus intuition. I feel like your intuition is guiding you down this path, but you think it's fear. So can you tell the difference yet still? Here we have, in the past we have fear, but in the present there's intuition. Um, then in the future, the Tower, the Seven of Cups, and the Page of Wands in reverse. You know, in some ways the Page of Wands does represent a young person or inexperienced, a novice type person who's just new to the game but has a lot of, you know, has done all the homework, has done all the lessons, but now they're like applying it for the first time into the real life. And as the elemental of the wands, it could be seen as a novice type person um, beginning their spiritual path. This is what was happening to me when last year or at the beginning of this year but most likely like the end of last year. I don't, can't remember anymore. I have a video somewhere about just about the page of wands, like why are you showing up? And that's, and that's what I learned. The thing about the tarot is that you will, you will create your own language with it and it with you. And so, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm really guess I'm gonna underline that message that if this is for you, it seems like what's happening is you're being led towards a path, toward a path of your own healing, towards something that's going to make you feel a lot lighter, a lot happier. But for that to happen, some of your beliefs about intuition, happiness, gratitude need to totally shift. Um, and what I'm seeing here is that you can't, this is an invitation to decide what all that stuff means to you. It isn't just like one thing and then you're like subscribed. You're not subscribing to anything. You're creating your own definition for what those things are. Um, and the way that 
your, your path to do that is to go back and examine these old truths about what has kept you feeling safe but yet stuck. Okay, we have the moon in reverse. It's not, not in reverse, but just like the moon underneath. Um, that just tells me that I'm going to make the new moon in Pisces video next because the, this coming weekend, it's uh, Pisces weekend. What a perfect time to do the homework of this particular week's reading. Tap into your spirituality. Tap into your beliefs. Tap into, you, tap into how you believe that the world works, the universe works. And I'm not just talking about like on a society level. You being here, existing, having thoughts, um, having gut feelings, having intuition, having real fears about what has happened to you so far. You know, the very human quest for purpose. All that stuff can be gleaned through the work with the subconscious, which is what the moon is. The moon, it pulls up things from the subconscious for us to deal with. And I feel like this weekend, this coming weekend, so the 10th, 11th, it's going to be the time to do that. Um, seek out your, your favorite guide, your favorite teacher, your favorite, I don't know, your favorite friend who can be a bouncing board maybe for some of these things. Am I seeing this correctly? Is this my fear or is this my intuition guiding me? All right. The last thing I'll say about this reading is that if you don't for yourself choose to go back and unlearn some of your own tendencies um, that have been protecting you till this point. You know, like, what are these old, like, if you're not questioning your self-guidance um, or your self-regulators and they indeed have stopped working for you, you will know. That's what the tower is saying, that, like, unless you are proactive to the point of really understanding and being you're at the point of being aware what did I say unless you're at the point of really being self-aware enough that something has stopped working and it's time to move forward it's time to create a new something for yourself the universe will do it for you that's what the tower is you will realize one way or another that it has stopped working. Um, what was this month's um, Okay, I had to go get the book that I was, I mean, this is my planner. But this was already a, a message I'd pulled for the month of September and it's it's coming out again this week. What circumstances have changed and how am I living like they haven't? What circumstances have changed and how am I living like they haven't? That's what you get. Thanks for watching. There is a recommended listening in the description box below. There is a full moon video coming and then back to next week's energy. Thanks so much for being here. Thanks to all the new subscribers and all the returning people. Thanks for your support. And I hope that you have a great week ahead.